Good morning, guys. So, this morning we are going to um, do a no dig bed here and here. Um, not to plant anything like vegetables, but flowers along the pathway and just create a simple pathway. So, it's really cold out here. We had a frost last night, so I'm hoping some of my vegetables still do well. Like, um, let me show you. Like, this is the collard greens. These are the collard greens, rather. The broccoli. It's all frozen. The uh, cauliflower. Hopefully, um, they come back. But I'll probably have to buy a new pack of arugula. Um, but uh, nothing else has come up thus far. So, yeah. But, you know, they're just seedling, seeds and transplants so I can get more. So that's probably what I'll likely have to do if they don't come back. But I'm going to be hopeful. I'm just going to leave them in the ground like last year. Uh, but I'm going to get started. But at least, you know, I didn't... Um, yeah, see these were frozen too. But at least they weren't fully grown with things on them. So we shall see. We shall see how everything turns out. Okay, let's get into this. So first things first, I'm using all of this cardboard and I'm going to cut it up and lay it flat onto the ground. Um, and I'll show you guys what that looks like as soon as I have it all laid out. Okay, so I'm out of breath, but this is it so far. I added corners to hold the dirt in until I apply the mulch. Um, and I haven't added this. So, going all the way around. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta add, now I have to wet it before I add the pavers. I just, I have to go back and get more pavers. I just wanted to see what it looked like prior to. So I just have four. Um, we just have to level it out and um, make some adjustments. I just need to water it. But uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like so far. Those are to cover all the, keep the edges in until we can water it. And then it'll just settle in. <sighs> okay. Okay, so it is day two. And this is what it currently looks like. As you can see in some areas here, it's sinking. So we have a ton of dirt here for this area along the back side here and on this area. So we're just going to add some more soil and see what that does. And then I have lavender and thyme, a lot of phlox, some bee balm, chives, cilantro, some gladiolas. And the broccoli doesn't go over here, but uh, yeah. So um, this is our project and yeah, so I'm slowly gonna fill up this area. I'm not gonna rush, gonna enjoy the process. And I will show you guys as I go through each process, as I um, continue. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've added more, all the soil to it level things out a bit more so it looks more uniform it looks a lot better it's not sinking right here so when the rain comes it won't push it all down oh, well hopefully it does have the cardboard underneath um yeah so now i'm just going to get started planting a few things seeing how it goes and uh yeah having fun <laughs> so guys this is it so far for today. I added the, so here I'm starting forward first and then moving backward. So I started with three different types of flocks um, here. Um, so you have the Drummond Pink, Amazing Grace, um, 
and candy stripe and here we have blue stocking bee balm and I have some moonshine yarrow and I know these are going to spread these are ground cover the flocks so they're just going to spread nicely throughout um, behind it we have some chives two lavender plants and two types of thyme back there and thyme also will make its way around here I want to add some more like I want to add some oregano parsley all of that here as well as um, uh, zinnia hydrangea so I'm taking my time slowly but surely so I started on this side first and then um, we're going up this side next and we'll just continue all the way around um, some parts will be easier than others because I'll just add a package of zinnia seeds um, some sunflowers in here um, but those are annuals so I'll need to add perennials um, throughout because I don't want it to be completely bare and I want to attract as many pollinators to the area since where I live we have about a nine month growing season so and I planted the gladiolas on this side um, and once again over here trying to do as many perennials as I can um, yeah so I'm enjoying the process back there in that barrel I'm gonna do green beans this year um, I put the broccoli plants in front there and uh, dahlias will go behind them um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next one happy gardening bye